Hey, what's up, dude? What you got going on over here? No. Hey, you got a sec? You're in the biz, right? Sure you are, I can tell. Got something I wanna ask you. Are you talking to me? Oh. Sure am. Anyways, I'm looking for something. You know Tatsu, yeah? Can you tell me how to find him? Oh. Tatsu, who's that? Look, you don't gotta play dumb with me. I'm looking for something extra deadly. I'll pay you the big yen for whatever you know. I really don't have any idea what you're talking about. Is this Tatsu a weapons dealer or something? Oh, never mind. If you ain't gonna tell me, I'll find somebody who will. Well, now I'm curious about this Tatsu guy myself. That guy went down to the footpath. Maybe I can get some more details from him. Yeah. He's probably already getting murdered. Nope, he's just bothering the homeless. Oi, oi. Tell me what you know about Tatsu, you dumpster diving piece of shit. I've got the foggiest idea what you're talking about. Oi. Who's this Tatsu you keep asking for? Well, 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 if it ain't the chump from earlier, I told you, forget it. You're the one who approached me, remember? Look, I don't got time for you to be giving me the third degree. I'm pissed off enough trying to search for leads here. You keep it up, I'm gonna have to tear you a new one. Hmm, try me. You wanna throw down, huh? Nice knowing you, pal, this is the end of the line. Yeah, so about that. <laughs> He's like, yeah, fucking Duncan. <laughs> now tell me what I wanna know. Shit, man, you built like a ton of bricks. Oh, fine. But don't tell any nobody that you heard it from me, all right? Ruba goes, this Tatsu fella sells you practically anything, but you gotta give in, give, have an in from one of his regulars. Some people say he's got the real good shit. Illegal. Dangerous. You know the deal. Beyond all that, they say he's operating out of Sotenbori. No clue where, but he's close. I can almost smell the guy. That's all I got for you. I'm out of here. Is it you, homeless man? <laughs> you got a good head on your shoulders, buddy. Maybe I can do something for you. Hmm? That thug was a real thorn in my ass, sniffing around about Tatsu and all. Just about took a swing at me, he did. Don't know if this will help you, but I'll introduce you to someone special. Someone who knows about Tatsu. Man goes by Kinoshita, up near, up north in the Abishaman Bridge. He'll tell you what you want to know. So you knew all along. Thanks, old man. Wow. Amazing. I am slightly surprised he didn't just turn out to be Tatsu, to be honest with you. Quick before the thugs get here. Kiryu-san, yeah? Name's Kinoshida. Nice meeting ya. Let me cut to the chase. You wanna see Tatsu? That's right. Word travels fast, I see. Then I'm gonna have to give you a little test first. Follow me. <laughs> I love how people just turn away like, oh, fucking hell. Look, Kiryu-san, I ain't doubting ya, but I wanna make sure I don't go wasting Tatsu's time with some punk who don't know his shit. Let me guess, I need to prove myself? Yep. Gotta see if you're a real deal. Now let's see what you got. Close. Heh, <laughs> just as strong as I was expecting. Looks like I lose. Tatsu must not be a regular merchant if it's this difficult to reach him. Yeah, I had to dunk two whole guys to get this information. You ain't wrong about that. Sorry again for having to test you. Anyways, you know the homeless guy who sent me to you? His name's Mura Murata. Go tell him you beat me, and he'll call Tatsu over. Murata. Got it. Well, my job's done. Later. Hmm. It's all, all coming together. I'll be back for you later. Oh, I thought he got mugged or Boy. something. Murata, right? I beat Kinoshita. Of course you did. Guy like you could have beat any of Kinoshita, an army of Kinoshitas. You can forgive me for testing you like that, though. Can't just let anyone meet the big boss. Anyways, let me call him up. Oh, fuck. Are we gonna go to the underground place? Nah, no, there's no way. I've already seen the arena. He's on the barge, though, so that's cool. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's an alien. How's it hanging, Murata? Same old, same old. Got a new customer for you, though. I can see that. You got a name, buddy? It's Kiryu. Good meeting you, Kiryu-san. You can call me Tatsu. I see you already know my business partner, Murata. Yeah, nice to meet you. I didn't realize you were operating out of a boat. Helps me keep my distance from folks I ain't interested in dealing with. 
If I don't like them, I just drive off into the sunset. But don't worry, I ain't gonna run off. Now, you earned the chance to take a look at what I got. Thanks, I'll try to make the most of the opportunity. Let me tell you, curious son my family's been doing this shit for generations now. I'm number 15 in a long line of Tatsus. My ancestors were selling Portuguese rifles to Nobunaga centuries ago, if that tells you anything. Anyhow, that's enough of the prologue. Let's roll into the main event. Military grade insoles. A uh, baseball. Amazing. He truly is a legendary weapons dealer. Thanks, Tatsu. Just talk to Murata if you ever want to shout with me again, you hear? Fucking. We did trade with Nobunaga. If you catch my drift, you want to buy a baseball and some insoles? They make you look bigger. Eh? Eh? Alright, so you missed the start of this quest because it happened while I was doing something off-camera, but Grandma sends us an email that was basically like, Yaman Sotenbori, come be my friend, you know. Hey there, Granny. Looks like you're doing well. Well, if it ain't Kazu-chan, how's Sotenbori treating you? Fabulous, huh? It's pretty good, yeah. Ah, ah, don't gotta be so modest. Great food, crowded streets, and prices so cheap you can get as many souvenirs as you want. Why don't you buy yourself a little something, Kazu-chan? It ain't every day you get to spend time down in Sotenbori. I'm the manager of a club here. Not a bad idea, I'll think about it. Oh, speaking of souvenirs, I forgot to grab something in Camarocho. I was gonna bound myself some homemade, handmade cookies too. That's okay. At your age, it's about making the memories. It's about making the memories, then eating souvenirs, isn't it? It's more about goddamn. No, it ain't. Hey, I got an idea. You should buy some for me next time you're up there, Kazu-chan. Do I have to? Come on, don't be like that. Think of it as a present for your dear old granny. Plus, I'll give you a reward if you do. All right, I'll try to remember. Thank you. Thank you much, Kazu-chan. Looking forward to it. Guess I'll go buy some cookies. Granny, I got your cookies. Goddamn. Yeah, well... Oh, uh, yes. You were looking for Toriner Maximum, correct? Oh, Jesus Christ. There they are. I got these out of a convenience store. Obviously. Oh, you did good, Kazu-chan. You did real good. Bet it took you all your cunning to get your mitts on these babies. Sorry for making you go through all that. No, they were literally just on sale at a gas station. It was nothing. So humble, Kazu-chan. Such a good boy. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I promised you a reward. Here you go. Oh. This is a scroll? Yep. It's got some of the finest... I was meant to go to the acupuncture guy. I just realized... It's got some of the finest Lotus School techniques inside, so read up. I got some spare reading glasses if you need them. I think I'll be alright. Thanks, Granny. Part 1. Are you going to have another quest as soon as I walk away by any chance? First, though, let me read this scroll. What you got in there? Allows you to block blades and bullets. Wow! That's pretty fucking sick. Thanks, Grandma. Are you about to get another quest right as I walk away? Hmm? No? Very surprising. Alright, where the fuck's the acupuncture? Um... I think here. I gotta go find that guy, because I've probably got like fucking five abilities to learn or something. Alright, what seems to be the problem over here? Please, don't interrupt the show. You call that a show? Sounding more like a dying pig calling out for its mama. Don't you think, buddy? I think that's a bit extreme. Extreme is right! It just ain't, it ain't just bad, it's straight up noise pollution. Kiwame means extreme, by the way. I'd rather jam pencils into my eardrums than have to listen to another no note of his bullshit. Noise pollution? You heard me right, piggy. Ain't no other word for it, I know music and that vile shit, wasn't it? So why don't you go on home? If you keep spewing that filth into my airwaves, I'm gonna get nasty. Wait, Look. please. Hey, cut the kids some slack. Excuse me? You really sticking up for this tone-deaf sack of yodels? Well, fine. If I gotta silence you to silence him, then you leave me no choice. Oh, 
Oh, he's actually not dead. I was expecting that to just be one hit, to be honest with you. Wow, he took two, two whole heat actions. That's pretty impressive. You know, it was still really close, obviously. First, I get my ears split open by that terrible music. Then I get my face split open by this asshole. What a fucking day. Thanks a ton. How am I ever going to repay you? No thanks needed. Besides, you seem a little down on your luck to be offering anything. Ain't that the truth? I'm Takao Yoshi... Yoshioka? Yoshioka, by the way. Kiryu. You have been singing here long? Just started a couple days ago. I used to busk on the other side of town, but some punk got on my case and handed my ass to me. See the cuts on my face? That was his handiwork. Seems like everywhere I go, there's always someone trying to keep me down. Oh, you've got it rough, kid. Ah, uh, no need to pity me. I mean, I have ears. I can tell I suck. But music means the world to me. Oh, God. Wherever life gets... Whenever life's gotten me down, music has been there to pull me back up. That's why I write songs. If my music can help someone who's stuck in the same ruts as I am, then I feel like I've made a difference, you know? So you compose your own work? Sure do. When I get a guitar in my hands, the melodies just spring forth from my fingers like magic. I can't even count how many songs I've written. That's impressive. Serious talent is born from that kind of dedication. <laughs> Thanks, that means a lot. Actually, I've even auditioned for a few major record labels, but they kept dropping me mid-sessions. Said my songs were great, but my voice dragged them down into the gutter. I wish I could get my message out to a larger audience, but there's no way. Not with a voice like mine. It doesn't matter how good my songs are. When you've got a voice like a horse, the music dies. Maybe, maybe I'm not cut out yeah. for this. That's not true. If you were, you wouldn't have endured all the beatings just to stick with it. If that's not love, I don't know what is. You could never abandon music. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for whining like that. I'm gonna keep trying. Music is my life, after all. I might suck, but it's what I love. Glad you came round. Thank you so much for hearing me out. I'm here performing pretty often, so swing by sometimes. I'll sing a song just for you. I might sound like nails on a chalkboard, but I put my heart into every note I sing. Sounds good. I'll see you around. I can't wait. Alright. Well, I was expecting that to be a little bit more involved. That's a lot of experience points for fighting one goon. Alright, well. Fuck that guy. We got other things to do. Is another quest going to appear as soon as he's off screen? No? I was really expecting that one to be more involved. Alright, what's going on with you? Excuse me, you wouldn't happen to know who I am, would you? Hmm? Sorry, no idea. Ah. Right, of course you don't. Should have known. What am I gonna do? What's wrong? I was walking down the stairs when I took a real bad tumble. I think I ended up losing all my memories in the process. I've been flagging down everyone who walks by since. Gotta be someone in this town who knows me, you know? Maybe, but I'm not that someone. Damn it, how am I ever gonna get my memory back? Feels like there was something real important I had to do today, too. You think there's anything I, any way I can get better? Hmm. Try hitting your head again. You should try hitting your head again. Maybe that would help jog your memory. I don't know if it works like that, but I guess it don't hurt to try. Maybe. Here I go! Are you feeling enlightened yet? They work? Ow! Don't think that worked. Couldn't help but hold myself back there. Just ended up hurting my face instead of jogging my memory. Maybe there's another way. Hmm. In that case, I guess I could punch you a few times. Maybe the impact would rattle your brain wiring and get you back on track. Man, that's brilliant! Go for it! Hit me right in the old noggin. That was a joke. Have you checked your pockets for anything that might help you remember? Nope. Hold on, let me take a look. Hmm, I've got some kind of note. What does it say? 10 mil, end of day today. You think I won the lottery or something? Maybe it's a reminder for me to collect my earnings. That's certainly an optimistic way of looking at a note like that, but it does sound important. I gotta remember ASAP then. Come on, man, give me a good whack or two. I won't sue you or nothing, promise. Are you sure? All right, I guess there's some problems just need to be solved with your fists, but don't blame me if it just ends up hurting more than it helps, okay? Thanks a ton, buddy. Here, let me thank you in advance. Oh, shit. 
But make sure you don't just kick my ass, okay? You gotta do something that'll send a real shock to my brain, okay? A shock, huh? Alright. In that case, make sure you fight back, too. Or it'll really look bad to anyone watching this. Can't do it on this wall. I was gonna do, like, you know, the knee to the back of the skull. Can we do it over here? Nope. Eh, well. You feeling, you know, enlightened yet? The hell you doing, huh? I asked you to shock me, not beat the living crap out of me. Oh, you want me to shock you, like, literally? Do I have a fucking taser on me? No. I have a taser in my fucking, uh, sword, so I'll be back. That'll shock you, alright? Alright, I went and I got a taser out of the equipment box. Let's go. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. All right. What's, uh, the tech? Can I not? Can't use a weapon? I'm pushing the... Nope, can't pull out any of the weapons. All right. What we got around? Ah, here's a taser. <laughs> well, that, that quest sure did bamboozle me. Huh? Did that work? Ah, I remember everything. It's all coming back. The note was a reminder to, to off somebody by the end of today if I want to collect my 10 mil. Wait, what? And that somebody is right in front of me. You're a dead man, Kazuma Kiryu. Oh, well, shit, how about that? Well. Yeah, it seems only right that we use the taser, doesn't it? Are you feeling like you might be an amnesiac again yet? How about now? Now? Yeah, this guy literally just came at me with a stun gun a second ago, so I can probably just assassinate him now with my bare hands. It'll be easy. Ugh. Wait. What am I doing here? Why does it feel like I'm forgetting something? Excuse me! You wouldn't happen to know who I am, yeah. would ya? Nope. No clue. Aw, oh, alright. Sorry for asking you out of blue like that. Hmm. What was I doing? A mystery indeed. Alright, well, good talk, team. Uh, we got some more stuff to do over there. Alright, what we got going on over here? Get your hands off me! Oh, that's funny. You were totally asking for it a second ago. The only thing I was asking for was directions. Sure, sure, to my dick. No need to be modest now. I know you're really after his little action. Ugh, gross. Hmm. What? You got a little meat on your bones, but eh, beggars can't be choosers, am I right? Now let's get out of here and have some fun. I'm not going anywhere with you. Just leave me alone. Listen, I'm getting real tired of this attitude. We gonna have to teach you how things work around here? Besides, where is a nobody like you gonna gotta be in such a hurry, huh? Come on, we'll just show you how great this city is. We're experts with our hands, you know? It'll be a special night, promise. Those thugs are gonna hurt that girl. Good. You guys are pathetic. Can't you tell she's not interested? Did it look like we were asking for your opinion, old man? Please, sir, help me. Ha, you some kind of jacked up host, buddy? Either way, you shouldn't try to play the hero. Think she'll give you a piece of the action if you save her, huh? Is that it? Sorry to break it to you, but we got dibs. Go take a nap or something, old man. Or do we gotta make you go? Mm -hmm. You know... You gotta stop feeling sorry after him out for him after about, like, 20 goons decide. Yeah, we can take care of you. All right, close. Defeat the pickup artist. That's a very diplomatic way of phrasing that. Shit, so strong. You still looking for some fun? Because I can keep going. No, man. Girls ain't worth getting our ass kicked like this. Thank you so much, sir. The formerly troubled girl. I've never been so scared. It was nothing. Just be careful who you ask for directions in the future. Not everyone's a good guy in a city like this. Yeah, totally. 
I moved here from the country a while back, so I guess I'm still learning a few life lessons. My name's Miki, by the way. How long have you been here? Three years, actually. I've always dreamed of becoming a singer, and I thought coming... Oh, I know a guy who's looking for a singer. I mean, and I thought coming here to Osaka would be the best bet to hit it big. A singer, huh? Yeah, it hasn't really worked out, though. I know I sin sing, but I can't write songs to save my life. Oh, is that so? Well, the record labels I auditioned for wouldn't even let me finish. They said my voice was great, but the songs I was singing were holding me back. Why does this sound so familiar? I guess you can't go back on a can't get by on a pretty voice these days. I'm not much for looks either, if I'm honest. I can't dance and I can't play any instruments. Maybe I should just give up and go home. Then you need to sing. If you can throw yourself behind what you're good at, you've got a chance. Yeah, but I already did. I've tried. I've tried so hard. I've been here for three years and I still don't know what left from right. At some point, it's just not worth it anymore. If only I knew someone that shared my passion for music. Maybe with a partner I could get through this and it wouldn't feel so damn hard. That kid with the guitar seemed to have the opposite problem. Maybe these two would hit it off. I actually know a guy you might want to meet. A musician? Yeah, his voice is nothing to write home about, but he loves his mu but his love for music is undeniable. You interested? Wow, you really mean it? I'd love to. I bet we'll find him singing in his usual spot up on the west side of Sutton Boy. Let's head up there. Thank you, thank you. How convenient. So this guy you know, what's his name? Uh that one. Makoto Date. I think it's Takao Yoshiko. Oh, I'm actually getting kind of nervous now. Calm down, he's just a regular guy. Come on, he sucks, really. He's the guy over there with the guitar. Okay, here I go. Good luck. You've had a few more run-ins since we last met, it looks like. Excuse me, are you Takao Yoshioka? That melody is incredible. Really? I'm so glad you think so. You even know my name? How's it going over here? Oh, you san Thanks again for earlier. Are you here to listen to me sing? Not exactly, no. I came to introduce you to this young lady. I'm Miki. It's nice to meet you. Miki-san, huh? She came all the way from the country to pursue a career as a singer. The thought she could use a friend with mutual interests. Wow, you must be pretty good if you moved here just for singing. I don't know about that. I've failed every audition I've had. They always praise her voice, though. In that case, I'd love to hear what you got. Can you sing for me? Of course, I'd be glad to. But I'd rather not perform one of the songs I wrote. They're not very good. That's fine, sing whatever you like. A modern day hit and a golden oldie, you name it. How about Rogue of Love? Oh, everybody loves that one. Let's see what you got. Okay, here I go. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, not bad. Um, what did you think? I'm floored. I've never heard such a stunning voice before. I sent chills up and down my spine. Oh, come on. Tell me the truth. He's being serious. Even I got lost in how beautiful that sounded. Kiryu-san. Hearing you sing makes me love long even more for pipes like those. Gentle, soothing warm. With a voice like that, nobody would ever turn me away. I could make so many people happy. Wow, thank you, Yoshikawa-san. Hey, um, uh, would you like, what would you say to making music together? Huh? I can write songs all day, but as soon as I start to sing, everything falls apart. My voice is scratchier than a bent record. It's so bad that people try to beat me up every time I open my mouth. Yeah, can't you tell? I actually got socked again right before you guys walked up. Guess some things never change. But like I said, I can write some really great songs and play a few instruments. Plus, nobody can beat my passion for music. At least, that's what I thought until you showed up. You have to have a lot of passion to uproot your whole life for a music career. But that's exactly why I think we'll work well together. So what do you say? I'm in. I can't wait to see what we can come up with together. Yes! Huh, I'm happy for you too. Thank you so much, Kiryu-san. Here, let me give you this. It's the least I can do.
Patriarch's bowling ball. Cool. I suppose I don't need like 12 knives. Miki-chan and I are gonna climb the charts. It might not be easy, but our passion will carry us through. Why does she just have a bowling ball in her pocket? Good luck, guys. I can't wait to hear the results. Can you sight read, Miki-chan? I've got a sign we can try out right now. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, those performers sound amazing. You got that right, let's go take a listen. Those two will make a great team, and I'm sure it'll be a nice change of pace from getting beat up all the time. Amazing. All right, how many quests we got left? Only two. Wow, it's almost time to do the main story again. As amazing as, as, as amazing that is.